I'm back at the ski trail parking lot, heading on my way, starting with a little bit of a road walk to the county park. Someone's been through here on a fat tire bike, and someone's also been through here on a snowmobile. Nice old maple woods here with a understory of balsam fir. Here I am at the Arboretum. Signs of a busy squirrel. That's Game Lake. Now the trail crosses Pence Lake Road. Sun is trying to peek out. Look at this impossibly large icicle hanging from this tiny twig. Snowshoe tracks I've been walking in have come to an end. So I think it's time to put my snowshoes on. Okay, we're off. I got these snowshoes from my aunt and they are great. I love them. Thanks, Aunt Dolores. Some beautiful big hemlocks here. Here's Upper Venter Lake. I always want to say Ventner, like the Monopoly game. The sun's still trying to come out. I think I'm following some wolf tracks here, although it's hard to tell because they're old. The marks themselves are big and the stride is pretty big. I keep thinking about Emily Ford, who a couple of years ago through hiked the entire Ice Age Trail in the winter. You know, backpacking and winter camping and all that. I mean, so impressive. Got to be strong and capable and determined. She's like a master gardener, so she gets the winters off. And uh, I've been following her on Instagram. This winter, she's working as a dog handler for a musher who's trying to qualify for the Iditarod. So who knows where we'll hear from Emily Ford next. But if you haven't seen the movie, that was made about her Ice Age Trail trek. I highly recommend it. It's called Breaking Trail. Check out this beauty. White pine. Man. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a couple of what I think are bobcat tracks. Here the trail parallels Highway A for a while. I just crossed County Highway A and this marks the beginning of the Lumper Camp segment. I've been walking on this snowmobile trail since crossing A. I got so captivated with the sky that I missed the turn off. <laughs> back on the snowmobile trail again. And I've come to one of these a cylindrical lockbox for showing documents that you've got permission to cut logs in here or something like that. Yeah, that perfect grouse track. That sky. Well, I don't know. This doesn't make much sense to me. Here's a sled. It goes down the edge there. And then the sled trail stops and there's just footprints right where you'd think the sled would come in super handy. <laughs> There's a lot more footprints from people here. My sister Jill, whose trail name is Just Chill, suggested that I put mileages 
in my videos. So I'm going to start doing that with this with this episode today. Peter's Marsh State Wildlife Area. The local wildlife guy, Eric Borchert, told me that it was a bear that damaged this sign. I've been seeing snowshoe hair tracks all day long, but these are the first cottontail rabbit tracks I've seen. Fresh coyote tracks here. This is the end of my hiking for today. I made it back to County Highway S where John had helped me drop off my vehicle here before shuttling me back to the Jack Lake Ski Trails.